My time. dad's a pastor, because, right. and I've shot so many nude women all over right. the world. I doubt that that's like something he's like telling his buddies that he's proud of. I had like a little bit of a rough upbringing. I paid rent in high school and did not live at home. Oh boy! And okay. It's probably why I became a photographer. I had a photography teacher in high school, and he helped raise me. Like he was incredible. Okay. I had a very religious family in San Diego. In San Diego. Okay. My dad's a pastor. Oh wow. Oh wow. I didn't buy it. It wasn't the life for you. It wasn't for me, and I just that you know, didn't go over well. No, but I did do some fun things. So like when I was a kid, I would tell my parents that the mess in my room, all the clothes all over my floor that it was floor art and that I'd curated an art museum in my room and not to make me clean my room because it was an art museum and that didn't go over well because there were no other artists in my family right but I still think it's funny because it's very like inventive for a kid to say that but was out on my own really young and I was really angry about it and then I healed from that and did they kick you out or you you they did they did you gotta be kidding it's me it's okay it's okay all, now my I've, blood's boiling i have um, forgiven like it's not good for you still me talk to, to him not, i do not not at all no when was the last time eight years eight years eight they years. reached out to you you reached out to them we could have just parted ways amicably it's for the best and okay. it's you know it's one of those things i'm not upset about i have when a you, very happy life but it just was kind of one of those things where i'm like this is not adding value to my life this is not making me happy i don't think it's making them happy i don't know if they know what i do for a living which is wild. And they would frown upon it? 